Hello and welcome back to another episode of Oasis Top Tips. Did you know that Oasis Primer has a quick find tool to help you quickly access menus, open tutorials, isolate includes and much more? Today I'm going to show you how to make use of the quick find tool which is built into Oasis Primer. You can access this either by clicking on the magnifying glass symbol in the middle of the right hand tool pane or by pressing the hash symbol on your keyboard which is the shortcut. You can of course change the shortcut button in the shortcuts window, so have a look back at my top tip on shortcuts if you'd like to do that. Doing either of these things opens up a search bar which enables you to enter a search string. In this case, I'm going to try and select uh, the windshield here. And this is maybe a good example of what you might want to do. So um, you can see the windshield on the screen, um, but it's got separate layers there and it might be a bit fiddly to go through the uh, normal part tree to select it. So here I can simply just type wind s and it's giving me the options there. And then I might want to edit the mid layer say, which should be a bit more fiddly to select. Um, so here I could do only or whatever I want to edit the materials and sections. Um, in this case I'll just close it and bring back everything with you. Um, but that's one use case there, so um, basically editing um, sections, materials, uh, parts. Um, you can also isolate includes as well. So in this case, I might type chassis. And you can see that various options to only blank or unblank these two includes, so 8 and 16 have appeared. Um, and if I didn't know the name of the include, uh, but just knew the number, I could actually do a left parenthesis and then say I typed in 16 there. Um, I've got actually that include appearing as well as other matches down below. So in this case, I'm just going to uh, only on the rear include. And I'll now repeat that, but um, actually using no mouse this time. So pressing the hash symbol on my keyboard and then type chassis. Um, and I've already isolated the rear include. So now I want to get the front include. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to explain a little bit more um, in detail about how the matching algorithm actually works here. So it uses something called fuzzy matching which um, essentially matches the characters in order, but they don't have to be next to each other. So you can see that these first six options have matched um, the, the characters uh, for the beginning of chassis um, in order, but actually here we've got um, stochastic spray particles, um, and that's actually opening up an LS Dynam manual. So that's a, a nice aside that if you uh, want to access the manual for some of these things, um, you can just type that in as well, and it will open up the um, PDF for you. <clears throat> or um, here's an example of it uh, opening up uh, the keyword for uh, defining um, the stochastic element solid uh, variations and um, and then also editing here so you can see it's picking up the C and from section and HA and then a double S in the cross member there and um, so it's actually matching those characters basically with gaps in them um, which is quite nice um, however, if I wanted to narrow down my uh, options here and just select the uh, front chassis, um, what I need to do is enter a space and then I can type FR here. Just note that it's not at all case sensitive, so lowercase is totally fine. Um, and you can now see it's narrowed down those options. And so even though FR was typed in afterwards, it, it's um, happy to reorder those uh, and narrow those down. Um, so in this case, I'll use the arrows uh, down and then I want to unblank it now just to bring it on screen alongside the rear sashi um, and using the return button um, that now appears. Um, so that's really useful uh, there um, just to basically isolate separate includes as well. And then uh, lastly, what I want to show you as well is um, accessing some tutorials here. So supposing you wanted to know how to say um, detach some shells. Uh, you might want to type in uh, debt here and uh, you can see some options already appearing. And so the first option is uh, pointing me to the tools. Um, so the tools is actually up here. You got mesh and detach, but this is a quick way of accessing it. Um, so I could just click that um, and it would do that for me. Or if I bring this up again, I can see that there's actually some help and uh, tutorials here. So if I click on that, um, it will actually open up a tutorial for me. So show me basically how to detach and using the menu there. Um, so that's just a, a really useful 
um, shortcut for accessing some of these features. And actually useful to know is if you type in help to the quick find, you'll get a list of tutorials um, which can uh, help you when you're uh, trying to find out how to do certain things. So supposing I want help with the GUI uh, builder tool, which is uh, new in primary 18, um, you could uh, essentially type in help and GUI and it will match that for you. And then lastly, what I'm going to show you is uh, just the options um, for this quick find. So uh, this allows you to change things such as the match text color. So in this case, I can change it to red rather than uh, blue as it was before. So now when I type in help, you can see that that is actually appearing in red, um, whereas it was blue as before. Um, and you can play around with uh, some of the matching and uh, how much it cares about things being sequential or what, uh, whether you want to match from the start of a word um, and how long the length of the matching here is. So this is just uh, 10 long, but if you wanted to make it say 20 long, um, then that's um, an option available to you uh, there. Great, so I hope you found this um, quick overview of the quick find tool uh, really helpful and useful. Um, and hopefully you can see how it's extremely powerful and it can make you more efficient when working um, with models in Primer. Um, so that's all and I hope to see you at the next Oasis Top Tips.